Alright guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. Today we're going to be talking about Me6, and what specifically I'm going to focus on Me6 today is using roles, ranks, and levels. So the first thing is adding it to your Discord, so when you go to Me6, uh, I'll obviously put the link in the description below, um, you're going to first head at Discord if you have not already done so. I'm going to shrink this box so you can see the whole box. It just wants to access your username and avatar, know what servers you're in, access email, have next uh, never mind. <laughs> then hit authorize. Once that's done, it's basically going to log you in with Discord. You'll you'll have to log in with Discord if you've never done it before. We're going to work with my server if you have admin permissions for any other servers, like I do for the Celtic Mania Discord. Uh, since I'm a manager for that streamer, you can choose that one as well. So I could basically work on every server I manage or have admin permissions for. It doesn't have to just be your own. But we're going to work through mine. So. We're going to be focusing on this little widget here. So normally when you start out the widgets are not immediately on. You'll have to click it and hit yes to enable it and from there you can start working on it. I'm not going to enable that now. So we already have the levels when enabled. We're going to go over here. So with leveling up, if you want it to make an announcement when somebody levels up, you just hit enabled. Well, I have it currently disabled. You can have it be in the current channel they're talking when they level up in a private message or a custom channel, depending on what you want to do. And then you edit what the ah, <laughs> you edit what you want the announcement message to be. If you leave this variable alone and this variable alone, though, because that's going to actually ask the person and say what level they've just re uh, reached. So current channel that would be the current channel. Private message that would be in a private message and custom channel. So from there you would pick through which channel you want it to announce it in. We're gonna go back to disabled though. How do I do disabled? making sure you're always hitting save changes. Non-XP role, so my role is the consultant and I'm the only one with that role. I don't feel a need to gain XP because it's my server. I'm going to talk a lot in it because I'm constantly posting announcements. So I added myself to the no XP role. Basically it means I'm not going to gain any XP, I'm not going to level up, and then I don't just sit at the top of the rank board, which is kind of nice in a way it lets everyone else rank up. And then you can also have no XP channels. So I could set like my management channels so all of my admins and mods who I have meetings with in those channels can't rank up that way if I really wanted to. Uh, sub chat, bot testing, these ones that are kind of hidden. So that way if you don't want your mods just leveling up because you guys are sitting in your mod chat for a meeting, you can make that a channel that they don't gain XP in. Scrolling down to role reward configurations. You have to make sure which one you want, you can have it stack up so then they keep the previous role that they got from leveling up or you can have it remove previous and then it won't. Um, I currently don't have any set but role rewards, you can choose which ones they are rewarded and then you choose which level at. If you want to remove it you just hit the X. You can edit your own personal server rank card, this is just for you or no, this is for everyone, <laughs> excuse me. You can make uh, the server rank cards look a specific way if you really want. So the colors, if you get Me6 Premium, you can have a cool background. From here, you have to enable the commands. So there's levels to see the leaderboard and rank to see your rank. So the rank is gonna get you this thing. Levels will show the whole the link for the leaderboard to see where everyone stacks up. You'll just turn them on and off like that. And if you want to edit them, so the rules that are allowed are at everyone. You can add other roles, band roles, band channels, cooldown setting, send response privately, auto delete command in motion after message. So that means it'll delete it right away or do not reply to command if you don't want this one used. It's going to be the same thing over here. You'll edit it like that. So that's how to set this up. Now a thing to keep in mind, we're going to hop over to my Discord here. You guys can right now see in management. We're going to move over to bot testing though. This is where I do all my bot stuff. You need to make sure that your Me6 has a role that is technically above everyone else, but you probably don't want them showing up at the top of your list. So I currently don't use Me6 to give roles, but there is a way to set that up. So we'll go to server settings, roles. So we have a bot role that I assigned to all of my bots. 
what you'll do is you'll move that all the way above everyone else and then just have it display role members separately. Check that as a no and hit save. So now you see it'll just show them as online, but they still have that bot role that technically makes them above anyone below my ad or my mods and admins. So they can still assign roles. So that's how you'll do that, and they'll still show up at the bottom of the list instead of the top. But yeah, otherwise, guys, that is how to set up Me6 roles, ranks, and levels. Um, you have to pre-make the roles in the server, so pretty simple. Server setting roles, you'll create them all here. Um, this is done through another thing. These are not that. But yeah, so you would make the roles here, and then it's going to have all those roles listed in the thing, because it knows all your stuff with Me6, and knows everything. But otherwise, that is how to use Me6 levels, roles, and ranks. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial video. See you guys in the next one, and happy streaming!